Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this part. Let's start. I will open a new part, and here in the front plane, I will create a sketch. Then here, drop a rectangle. Here, 110. Here, 300-ish is okay. Yes. After this operation, this will be extruded. Two millimeter, and here I will create another sketch and drop one polygon, this hexagon. In our case, make it vertical. Give dimensions ten. Maybe I can change a little bit my uh, visual properties to make you sure that you see better and then here placing something like this 10 by 10 by 10 from 10 by 10 from the edges and the length is 10 a polygon hexagon in fact 2 2 and a half let's make it after this operation is done we are going to create a sketch on top and then we will convert this circle. Okay, this will help us. We need that center. We can already here create an axis, set a point, and a, a surface. It will create an axis normal to that base. Could be uh, hide it now. And I will go here, select it through the sketch. This guy line something like this here and go from edge to edge something like this at that you have what we should do should combine them edges should be combined okay good this four object is construction geometry is two collinear and equal then this edge should be like this. In fact, we can do it in this way. We can say it's two point long X. So this two is selected equal. And then what I will do, give here the damage 0.5. I created a three the dimensional sketch here. In fact, in its own, it is a 2D. Uh, with the help of center, edges, and that's it. We close the sketch, surface, pull up the surface, right click selection manager. This edge is selected, this edge is selected. I created here a surface. Let's see how it is looking like. You see something like this. So we go roll surface. We select on plane, this web operation active, we select two edge. Close this one and I created here perpendicular to front surface a two extending surface. We got here three of them, select three of them, knit them, they are on body now, and cut with surface. Arrow will look inwards, and this area will be now removed. You see, it is no longer there. Now features, circular pattern. This is direction. This is the object. Sorry. This direction is object. Three time, copy. We have it. Nice. If you are able to do it till this moment, model is almost done. Now we have a sketch, we should define pitch. Here, two time. Our uh, objects, they are equal. This is vertical, this is vertical, and they are equal to this one as well. 
finding pitch in this side is easy, but uh, this one is not. So it's a fraction. That's why I use this method. I don't say it's the best. This is for me works the best. There might be other things. We don't need to do this one. So center and this center should be horizontal. I select two of them. Control is pressed. It's horizontal. If you do not like them, this way, just put a line in between and it will be centered. So this guy is selected. Linear sketch pattern. Here we know it is 11. But as I mentioned, the vertical is fraction. So let's make it 18. Little bit 19 ish even. Okay, let's give some dimensions. Let's give here another one and here one, and then they will be black. Good. This was a, a template to use in our core operation. I created another sketch. I select two point. Okay. Now I will copy this two point across all this plate or surface. Linear sketch pattern here 11. Here we make it um, 18. No, 18 here. 18. Here we have maybe 7 or 6. 6 copy. 5 even. Yeah, 5. Let's copy here, something like this, it's fine. So points are copied. What we are going to do now, just placing them in the right location. Select two is two, one point, one existing one, and select coincident. And here it is not coincident yet. Select two of, two of them, control pressed, and operation is done. We have a sketch where we can use for copying. These points are selected, sketch driven pattern, and geometry pattern is active. I'm going to use features. Features are this one, and this one, and this one. Let's say OK. Might take some time. Oh, it is very fast, in fact, it takes so much time. Normal tool. So, guys, let's make some cleaning now. Some things that I created here is unnecessary. For example, here we are going to send half of this guy. Okay. From uh, let's finish this one first. Let's do not mix both. We delete this one. Now I will create another sketch. Select from here to here. Okay, guys. Select from here to here. No, here is better. Okay. Hope we are not doing something wrong. Yes. It looks fine. Yes. Good. What we need now. Uh, we will define our length. I estimated this thing to be at 60 millimeter diameter outer side. So then the length of this object should be 60 by pi, isn't it? Which is 185, 88.50. So then what needs to be done somewhere here, we need to cut it. And also make sure you cut it rightly. Look here it is in half. It should be also here in half. Same. Okay. Now we are going to cut this one. The length is a little bit uh, different than the 60. So it will not be exactly 60. But that's fine. This is a tutorial and we do not have so big problem with this. Little bit deviations on the outer diameter. So almost done guys. Flex, select this guy, hard edges unclicked, 360, and uh, okay, it will be done. It might take some. Yes, guys, it took for my uh, computer to complete around two minutes. 
and uh, after this operation oh we don't do this something's wrong here top plane top plane selected and this plane and here we create a sketch sketch this edge selected and three millimeter yeah, two and a half also okay oh i know what's wrong select everything in this kind of thing so always we have this one and just make 0 0.5 mm offset convert the base to a uh, construction geometry and two and a half now yes flex is not a very uh, in fact uh, consistent operation i always retain to not use it but sometimes it's really helpful so then here a chamfer one is okay i think anyway then we got this nice model it looks nice huh uh, thanks for watching if you like it hit the like button and make a comment i hope you find it easy to model it please if you have a problem uh, type in comments i'm always responding bye bye